Hey Guardians, Claudel Triple XP here and welcome back to Unseen Destiny 2. Firstly, I hope you guys have been enjoying E3 over the past few days. Microsoft, I have to say, put on a fantastic show this year, so props to those guys. Um, now guys, on to this video. The mission where you acquire the Icolos hand cannon from Rasputin, which I believe is called A Piece of the Past. There was some weird and pretty interesting stuff that you can do during this mission. Now firstly, whenever you come into the area, if you just kill the first enemies that you see, you can actually start climbing your way up the side, and you can get up to the very top without killing the enemies below to take away the barriers. And some pretty interesting stuff can happen, and there is potential for being able to break through the height barrier in this area. Maybe. I'm not certain because I haven't actually done it yet. But it may be possible. But I will show you guys exactly what I mean. Now bear in mind, this footage on my Warlock that I've got isn't great. But you will see what I mean. I actually had better footage on my Titan. But it was older footage and it's been deleted from my Xbox DVR because I recorded it a good long time ago. Like a few days after the Warmind DLC came out. But anyway, we're going to walk all the way along here, and the barrier is below us, since I never removed it in the first place. Now, if we actually drop down on top of that barrier, it's going to shoot us straight up into the air. But we're going to hit the height barrier above us, and it's going to push us down, and then the barrier below is going to push us e up even faster and harder. But I did it in the worst possible spot. If you guys try it, do not try it over there, you can even see my corpse bringing up and down, um, but there is potential that that might be able to get us out of the height barrier if you do it perfectly. Now this is actually after, this is actually after I got the hand cannon. Now there's some weird stuff here, and there's a barrier there, but you can get through it, as you can see. Now look inside where Rasputin is, do you see something? See something like, over the middle part? And then when you zoom in, it disappears. I have no idea what the hell it is. And also, why the doors are open. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure when you do this mission, as soon as you go through the door, it opens and then it closes behind you. I think it's because I was messing around. And as you can see, it was even down there. There was some weird thing down there. I don't know what the hell it is. But this is pretty cool, since the Rasputin door is open. As you can see, there's like the Siva stuff, then we zoom out, there's nothing, and then you zoom in again, and it all starts to appear. I know it's not Siva, but whatever the hell it is. The sparkles. No sparkles. Zoom in. Sparkles. It's weird. No sparkles. Sparkles. Now let's actually go inside the room here. We're going to walk backwards, and you'll see that weird thing popping up again, just right there. There it goes. And then it disappears, and then it's back. Yes, very, very strange. But, I just wanted to share this stuff with you that you can actually do on this mission. But I want to give a shout out to my clan, Dead Goose Guardians. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Guardians, this is Cloudell XXXV, and as always, thanks for watching. watching.